So, it's pretty sucked in, and wow, there's an echo in here. Good morning. It's day 137. It is 6.30 in the morning, and we left our lovely little camp spot feeling refreshed and a little less heavy. Uh, Just a little. Carrying three liters of water. Yeah, so the icing on the cake is uh, on top of our heavy resupply. There's also a water carry. Yeah. But it's gonna be hot today, I think, so yeah. we had to put carry a little bit extra water. I always drink a lot when we climb, so yeah. I know I'm gonna need three liters. Yeah, yeah, it's only 14 and a half miles today, but that's with 5,300 5, feet of ascent, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a big day. It'll be a good day. Um, very good. We're climbing a couple hills. Uh, Smarts Mountain. We'll be ending on Smarts Mountain. Yep, we're ending right in, um, before the summit of Smarts. It's it's gonna be a good day. We might get some rain yeah. at two. But we have rain gear now. So. But we have rain gear now. <laughs> so, woo! <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, that's about it. Um, let's attack this day. Yeah, let's get this. It's gonna be grand. Our first, second day in New Hampshire. First good big day. So let's kill it. I really don't know what this sign means. Maybe he died. He must have. I think he died. <laughs> it's, ooh, that is a super weird sign. <laughs> he stopped abruptly. Oh, jeez. Poor Matt Dustin. Look at this one. Love these orange signs. Yep. On this section of trail, the Dartmouth Outdoor Club actually maintains from the border all the way through Musalak. So we get these cool orange signs up until Moose. Guess everyone's gotta have their name on the sign up here. Peter? Peter, Peter where are your logs going? Got a nice, nice little sun, sunrise here. It's a, it's a cloud rise, because we don't see the sun. It's over there somewhere. Beautiful beige skies with the lovely overcast. We're happy because the sun ain't out. We're hoping it stays that way. Yes. Cause it's already, we're already sweating. Trying to stay positive. Yeah, we're My being back feels like it's gonna positive. snap in half. It's gonna snap. <laughs> it's gonna snap right in half. Uh, I got a bunch of mangoes we gotta eat. We messed up y'all. We, we messed up big time. We're carrying way too much stuff right now. Why did we do this? Way too much. It's like not okay. It's like back to Georgia. It feels like Georgia. Awful. This is why we couldn't do a lot of miles in Georgia. Mm. I had to dig a hole and put some food in it <laughs> this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, terrible. Simply awful. Okay, this has got to be our favorite sign so far. The spruce moose. It's the spruce moose. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And then we got this guy, this happy looking guy, just hiking along. Wow. Then they have little diagrams for for each shelter too, like where the all the, the privy and the water is and all that. It's really cute. Really love the signage. We just found the best thing in the world. Water. Oh, we don't need the water. And trash. We don't need the water. But we need the trash. And look at this. Look at this. Someone made a stick AT. They just... It looks like they just used a knife and just pressed the... sharpened the sticks and stuck them together like that. And then they used this little vine to 
connected to the tree. I love this. I really love this idea. Using only like uh, materials from the earth. Yeah. Just like that other, uh, that birch bark one we saw. That's a really cool idea. We got to do that when we get off trail yeah. or on trail. Really cool, really nice idea. But look at this, trash, trash. Oh baby, oh baby, do we have some trash for you? <laughs> Ooh yeah. Tick city. There is a gigantic bulldozer tank that just drove through here. I don't know. He's like clearing stuff out. There's like a bunch of stuff falling over there. He was filled with rocks. He, I don't know where he came from. I guess he just came up here and... That is so bizarre. It just said tank on tank. the side with big old tank treads it on like it. like a legit like army tank. That, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a repurposed tank with like a dump truck bed, uh, body on it. Super weird. I guess that's how they come up these uh, these little uh, like dirt roads up here. Don't fancy that. No. Part of wilderness. No, it is not wilderness. Not at all. Ooh. Holtz Ledge, so or cute. one of them. It is a very very sharp uh, drop off and way down. I will put you guys over to see. That is a good, nice drop right there. <laughs> and a lovely, absolutely lovely, lovely view. There's a nice, like, there's like cliffs. There's just rock faces right over here on the, on this mountain. And I assume that one over there is Smarts. Can't really get super close to the tree. And this rain, these clouds are, they're coming. They're threatening. They're threatening. Still nice and cool. Yep. It was a bit humid uh, at the start of today, but we were pretty low down. But up here is really nice and breezy. Gonna have a snacky. It's 11 o'clock. <sighs> over the hump. Over the hump. And got like, what? 7.3. 7.3 to go. So yeah, we're just about halfway. Whoop woo! Knew there was gonna be another ledge. And the storm is brewing. She's a coming. She's a coming. Looks like he can get over there too. And now we have a really nice view of smarts up there. Oh God, I can't believe we're gonna go over there today. It looks far. It looks very far, but it's only like seven miles. It looks further than seven. So for the people watching us who are using this as kind of research for their own through hike, pro tip, pack out fresh produce. There is nothing better than just being on the summit, just pulling out fresh fruit or a vegetable or whatever floats your boat. My thing recently has been fresh mangoes. Mango, as I like to call them. Even dried mango. I, you know, mango anything, I am all over, but fresh, fresh fruit. It's a little bit heavy, so you, you kind of want to eat it like pretty, pretty soon, like your first day, first or second day. Um, but boy, it, it really, it really helps. And it gives you those, uh, those nutrients that you might not be getting, um, with just like bars and snack food and dehydrated meals and whatnot. Like get yourself some vitamin C. The other thing, I know we've said this before, but salad. The, uh, the big, uh, the bags of sat, the pre-made salads that they have at the grocery store, highly recommend. 
packing out one of those. That makes a really, really good kind of first uh, dinner meal uh, after, after a resupply. Maybe you want to pair it with, you know, something else, something, you know, a salad and, I don't know, whatever else you want to pack out. Leftover pizza could be anything, but pro tip for all you guys watching. Some more beautiful, absolutely delicate, scrumptious chicken of the woods right here. It's kind of uh, covered in a few bugs, but uh, wow. Just, just delightful. Very delicate. Yum. We're here at our final water source for the day, which is just our second water source for the day. Yes. 11 miles in. And it is a uh, butter trickle. But this is where we got a camel up. And there's this sweet rock ledge right here. And Fern is going to take a little resty. Uh. Yeah. The path is really making me sad today, guys. Yeah, it's I, um, not great. I can't carry this much stuff. My body is not pleased. Yeah, all this winter gear combined with the heavy resupply has taken its toll on the fern. I haven't been this heavy since Georgia, and I think I'd rather freeze so, <laughs> and starve <laughs> that is, uh, than be carrying that thing. It's, <sighs> it's like... You're supposed to have it be 20% of your body weight. I think that thing's like 40% of my body weight. Yeah, this gigantic potato here. Oof. Mm. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna grab a few things off of her and we'll figure this out. It, it's just that gigantic sleeping bag you got. Yeah. Yeah, I did not take my sleeping bag back. Yeah. No freaking way. No way, that thing is way too heavy and bulky. We are gonna take a brief rest here and then continue up, what was it, like four miles? Yeah, we're close. 4.3, but it's all uphill, like 2,000, at least 2,000 feet of ascent. Yeah. So it's gonna be uh, a hefty one. But, ah, final stretch. Yeah. We just gotta get there before the rain. They pushed it back to three. What's it looking like now? Um, they they pushed it back to three and hopefully I really hope it stays that way. This is uh really odd. It says 412 miles. I'm assuming to Katahdin. Random mile marker 412. Wow. Well, like, it still excites me. Very exciting, but very confusing. 1730. Just. To Springer. Why is this here? <laughs> it's just the most random mile marker ever. And it's like super, like someone had to carry that out here. Just a little update for you guys. I know, a little updatey. All right, all right then. This mountain is an absolute unit. It is a beast of a mountain. Wow, we just went up like a thousand feet. We're cooking. I think my brain is cooking on the inside of my skull. So glad it's nice and cool today with the breeze. That's just, that's just the rain coming, but it feels nice. Look at this rock face. Woo! Oh, we might be able to see the second half of our ascent up here. Let's see, maybe we Maybe we can see the fire tower. Well, I don't see a fire tower, but I think that's that's what we're gonna climb right there. It's so nice and breezy up here. Okay, Ooh, hold on to my hat. The fire tower is up there somewhere, we just can't see it, but I hope that's our final ascent. We shall see. Okay, so we actually found Smarts Mountain. The big pud that you saw just a few seconds ago that I said was Smarts Mountain 
turns out to be the pod we're standing on now. Well, actually, it's not a pod because there's a nice view. But it was one hell of a climb. And the actual mountain was behind this one. Figure that! <laughs> right there, and you see the fire tower way up there. That is insulting. So now we have some very, very rude down to go. It's very terrible. Not too far down, but just enough to be annoying. And then we can make our final ascent up to this very large and in-charge mountain. Point three. Wow. Oh man. Our first New Hampshire climb in a while. Yeah, it's very humbling. Oh, we have made it. Almost to the summit. Point one before the summit. That's where the tenting area is. We have this absolutely gorgeous view. Gorgeous. I'll show you a better, maybe through the trees. Oh man, that last climb, let me tell you. Wow, insane. Close Call had his first New Hampshire climb. With his, with his proper shoes on that have tread on them. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all that tread. Look at all that tread. <laughs> Yeah, a lot better than uh, than what he was working with before. Yeah. So. Slippy slide. Slippy slidey. Not today. And we just made it for the rain. Actually, holy crap! I just felt a drop or two. So I'm gonna put this away and let's put the tent up. Mm, we made it. Yay. Just in time, baby. <laughs> so cozy. Three forty-five. Right as the rain. Yeah. Started. It uh, kind of sprinkled for a second, but uh, it stopped. But. And it is cold up here. It's so nice and cool. Yeah. I am glad Breezy. to have the sleeping bag. It is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Mostly a curse, but sometimes a blessing. I will eat a ton of food and feel much better tomorrow. Yeah, we need food. I need protein. I, I, I read, people were telling me in the comments that what I need is protein. That's why all my clothes smell like ammonia. Same for you, close call. Absolutely. Protein powder. Yep. Peanut butter. Tree bark. <laughs> Tree bark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know that's where you fiber. got that from. No, that's fiber. But yeah, so it's a good place to uh, end our hike for today. We'll probably check back in in a few hours, but we're gonna just chill out and rest our sore muscles after that insane climb we just did and uh and tomorrow we're gonna get we might not get a view <laughs> from the fire tower we're not gonna get we're not even probably gonna go up there tomorrow because it's gonna be storming in the morning but depends yeah if you we'll wanted, see we could go up now slack pack it go up the tower it's probably the best time to do it right now before the storm comes I guess we could. So, it's pretty soft in, and wow, there's an echo in here. But it's kind of coming in and out. Not really much of one. Oh, wait. You can kind of see the, the lake or the pond over there. The wind is coming in. Well, there's some people coming up, so. I guess I'll get on down. Oh, it's just barely there. Oh well. Maybe we'll get lucky in the morning. Otherwise, that's your view. Sorry. Hello from the cozy editing nook of Fern and Gypsy. Yes, it's been a very pleasant evening. Um, a lot of uh, eating of food and catching up on 
vlog stuff. I've been watching our last several videos. I was about six or seven behind because <laughs> there's just no time to watch them out here. So I took the time to do that. Fern's been editing her heart out. Yes, making you guys proud. Yeah, doing, doing my due diligence. She's doing a lot of magic over <laughs> here and uh, you know, a lot of good things at work. So our next couple days are very weather dependent. Um, it's, yeah. it's currently sprinkling and it looks like it's going to be raining all day tomorrow and possibly even into the next day, so. We had planned to do 21 mm. miles tomorrow and that'll get us to the base of Mount Musalak. And I think we're gonna try to do that and just kind of see how the weather goes, see how much it rains because the forecast is always wrong. And you know, it might not be extremely rainy, but if it is, we're probably gonna cut the day short. So yeah. we're gonna still get up early and try to set out to do those miles. But um, yeah, we really are at the mercy of the weather the next few days. So yeah. a lot of things up in the air. We we're planning to, in two days, end up at Lafayette Campground and meet up with a family friend of Close Calls. So yeah, lots of things kind of up in the air and we're hoping yeah. to solidify things tomorrow night, so. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're gonna do a Nero in somewhere or in, and um, we're definitely hitting Franconia on a good day. A good day. Uh, so if it's not gonna be this Friday, due to weather, because it might, it's iffy that day, then it'll have to be Saturday. And we were trying to avoid a weekend, but that's just kind of how it might work out. So it's okay, either way, we're gonna get a nice early start in there. But uh, yeah, our next couple of days are just kind of uh, up in the air. We have a general plan, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Keep an open mind and just uh, adapt because that's that's really what you have to do out mm -hmm. here, so. Yeah. yeah. So. Hoping this rain replenishes all the water sources. Yeah, the earth it, needs it yeah, so bad. It was not super great today, especially with a, a water carry up like 2,300 feet Lots of, of gain. And, and I uh, drank yeah. most of my water, but luckily we yeah. don't really need it. So There's a source on the way at the bottom. Um, yeah, four uh, miles down so. to the bottom of Smart. So. Yeah. yeah, that's our plan. And, so uh, thanks so much to it. for watching today. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow yeah. in spite of the rain. And uh, we hope you'll stick with us. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Yeah.